Check this out. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Very nice. This is also at Lowe's. You see that? That's what you want to see. And they'll be super happy with that filter pump in the pond. Down. Let's catch them up. Woo with catch them all fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch them up. How are you? Hey, big boy. How you doing? It's a perfect time of day to see you. I know you're hungry. Yeah? Yeah? Check this out. Ooh. 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 Ooh, ooh, where are you? Go get him. Go get him. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's following him. Oh, yeah. Oh, that thing is toast, huh? Too small? He likes bigger bait. I'm going to get one more. Baby, ready? Ready, big guy? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And that's what happens when you don't have the waterland glasses. You might be able to see out there in perfect daylight and literally crystal clear shallow water conditions but just like that you can't see anything with just that little bit of glare uh, sorry guys perfect time of the day too you can literally see half the monsters and then that little bit of glare you can't even tell there's a giant four foot long iridescent shark right there and that's why the waterland sunglasses are so important but guys we're gonna head over to my friends and build a pond to get a lot more bait and to make it a little bit easier to feed this bad boy that adam actually helped me catch so copy yourself a pair of waterland coast sunglasses link in the description below but let's head back over there and build that pond so this guy can get super fed oh man that thing's getting big <laughs> and we're here um I'm not sure what this is, but it it's working. And it's worked for a long time, right? It's worked for a long it's time. It's worked for a very long time. This is my friend Adam. You guys have seen him. He was the one that actually found that peacock that is now eating really hard, Adam. Like, really hard. And this is where he keeps his baits. So there's actually fish in here, correct? There are probably 50 or so. 50 or so. And you use them for peacock bass bait. And you keep them alive. I do. For weeks at a time. For week, weeks at a time. But he wants to be able to see these fish, and he also wants them to survive a little bit longer than a couple weeks. But cichlids don't really need much oxygen, as you guys know, mm -hmm. and as this guy knows. And this is how he's kept the birds away, and probably catches an iguana or two walking by. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start all that over. This is gonna be a magic blue goodbye. We're gonna turn all of this stuff that I just went to Lowe's and grabbed really quick, that you guys can do this at home, turn all of this into a new magical pond that you guys could put anything in there even larger fish that you want to keep as pets so adam let's do it let's break this bad boy down first all right oh. the cast net idea is a pretty good idea to keep everything out my good and if we move the lucky rocks you have a couple of dead ones too <laughs> i bet there are dead ones <laughs> hello there might fall some out of there, so yeah, watch this. Yeah. Here's a net right here if you... Here right. we go, here we go, you okay. ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, Look at oh these. my god. Oh yeah, you got some primes. Look at these. Primes, Look those are some of the best bait Look for snook. Some of the best bait for peacock. Wow, that is a pretty one. Oh yeah. Great, okay. so this guy has been working for you. It's just, uh, it's a little bit gonky, my friend. We got a straggler, sir, we got a straggler. Yeah, they jump out of the rocks. Come out of the rocks. Come out of the rocks. Yep. Sweet. We're going to save some of this water because that's going to help feed our plants for this new system. Great. We got plenty. Yeah. And the fish will actually bring the water to life on their own with a little bit of sunshine. Oh, Primes. there. Very nice. Very nice, Look sir. at these. Look at these guys. Oh, one's, one's on the floor. We'll get them. We'll get them. Little convict cichlids. Well, that thing in the, that thing in the light, dude. Oh, well, you have a, quite an array of cichlids. <laughs> People would pay big money for some of these fish, dude. He's scooping all those fish out of there. We're going to take a really, really decent look at them very, very soon. <laughs> that one, uh, that, that little convict? Yes, it was. Dude, you had quite quite a large amount of fish. These are my favorite baits, so. though. Let me see. Okay, let me put now, this is light. a key. This is a... A peacock guy down here in South Florida, well-renowned, real deal adventures. Look at this. Look at that. Saldinis. Don't even move. Wow. Now, that bad boy is a great bait, and it's a really <laughs> hearty bait, too. But those guys sell for like 50 bucks in the pet stores right now. <laughs> it's crazy what we have down here in South Florida. 
Let's go. We got Mayans. We got Mayans. We got Salvinis. Salvinis. And. And. Convicts. And convicts. All in one. Sweet. All right. And that's that. No more fishies except for you, sir. Save him. Him. LeBron! This is something I've used in the past, but it's something that you can just move anywhere without worrying about, hey, it's a little bit difficult, it's too big, too encumbersome, because it's a very, very easy thing to move, and you can just buy it on Amazon. It's a where, 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 oh, it's in this box. So I'm just gonna give these guys some oxygen. Yeah, give those guys something to, something something to, to breathe. breathe. Give them some air. Tell me how I'm supposed to breathe. Oh, look at that. Okay. Sweet. So this can be a pond. Obviously, these pools do quite the job. But this is a replacement whoa, 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 whoa. pool. And it's very easy to move around. It's very hardy because it's a dog pool. I don't Listen, know what that is. It's hard. It's all like a unit. It's all like a rock. It's all like a grown man. Ugh. Yeah, it's big. Big, big. Big, 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 big. It's really cool because it doesn't necessarily need to be a circle. You could do whatever you want with it, but it's very, very strong. The bottom is very, very, very strong, guys, because it's made for dogs to literally claw, claw at the bottom, and it's it just it's the coolest thing ever. And I put sharks in this thing. I put everything you can think of. If you see in my videos, you've seen this before. I have a smaller one that's about 48 inches. I think this one is how big? 60 something? 68 inches. 60 something, 68 inches. So check this out. Size of my foot. Big boy. Just gonna fill this bad boy up with a hose. You just let that thing sit there for a while. We got these baskets at Lowe's Aqua Plant Basket. Now this will just help you keep the fish out of your pump and also keep your pets alive. Oh, sorry, your plants alive. Yeah. Uh, from getting into the pump and clogging everything up, you know what I mean? So we're gonna keep those to the side. You can get rid of that garbage, put them down, great. This is the filtration pump. I've actually never tried this bad boy, but it looks very promising. I opened it up, I checked it out, and it looks sick. So this is also at Lowe's. Boom, another one. So now we have this dog Amazon, bad boys at Lowe's, bad boys at Lowe's, another Lowe's special. Adam, can you open this up for me? Oh, I can. Thank you, sir. So I just literally made a quick trip to Lowe's and a pet store to get some plants. Great, another one. So now this bad boy will work perfectly and you also need the pond hose. Can you open this up? No, oh, I can. All right, just showing everyone exactly what you need. So let me see where is that, just so we can see the size with their own eyes. This is three fourths of an inch, see that? Boom. Very, very common, yeah. easy to find. To get the, most of these things you could probably get on Amazon as well, but I do like holding things in my hand, making sure it's working, and all this stuff is at Lowe's right down the street. I like to use my legs and walk around and make cool things happen for my friends, like Adam, the Kitchen Night Peacock, Real right. Deal Adventures. Now these are plants that we're gonna use a little bit later, but for right now, so we don't waste time, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start to acclimate these guys. Because believe it or not, it's good to acclimate your plants. You don't want to shock them from hot to cold, cold to hot. So this will be perfectly fine. That's not necessary, by the way. That's just like a little thing that I like to do. But it does help out because I have shocked plants before and they have immediately died. <laughs> Are you going to keep this little plastic pool behind the boat? I might donate it to a child. <laughs> donate it to a child? <laughs> the dirtiest child. Joey Snipe. <laughs> Let's grab some of your dechlorinator. And while this water is moving around, Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Before we even put the fish in, before we do anything else, let's go ahead. We'll put a capful over here. For sure. And yes. a capful. Uh -huh. Just do your gallons, guys. It doesn't matter how many gallons you have, just read the bottle and you'll know how many gallons you need to put in per amount of water on every specific dechlorinator. It has a little bit more or less intensity per teaspoon, you know what I mean. So, use your dechlorinator, follow the Follow the instructions on your local dechlorinator. There's many different kinds. Today he's using some AquaSafe. Definitely will work and it has worked before. As you guys can yes. see, these guys are living literally in a puddle of gunk. <laughs> see, it's already deep enough for cichlids to live for quite a long time. In the Everglades, I found them literally sitting in stuff like Inches. this. I actually just found some Oscars the other day while filming the show and they were literally sitting in nothing like this. It was pretty cool. Our pond is pretty much done as long as we set up this filtration. You ready to go? I'm ready. Grab your tubing and go ahead and connect it right to there. It should be just the exact 
measurement. Perfect. Good job. How's that feeling? Nice and tight? Oh, it feels it's tight. Tight little version. Great. All right. So all you're going to have to do is grab one of those little uh, containers, the crates right here behind you. Uh -huh. Actually, you know what? I will help you. Oh, thank you. Yes. Put it inside. Put it inside and throw that bad boy in there. That'll just help for things, you know, not getting clogged in there. You can put it upside down if you'd like, but just like that, fish will swim in it and get a little touchy, but it'll help when something dies or if there's any plant life, anything like that. Just won't stick along the pump. It'll help you keep it clean, right? That's correct. Right. So that's pretty much it. Now we have to connect that long hose, three fourths of an inch, to your filter, and you're almost done, dude. Yes. Plug it in. Step one. Step one, plug it. Complete. Plug it, are you working? Step two, initiated. Oh, initiated. Initiated, oh yeah. Welcome to life, Mr. Pumpito. 600 gallons per hour, looking good. Hold that two up for me, just so they know the flow. Yep, that's what you want to see. Solid, solid aeration on this small body of water. This basically is just going to give our plants a place to grab nutrients from, right? That's correct. Yeah, and this is not necessary for this pond, by the way. This filter will act like plants pretty much, but we're going to do a little bit a little bit extra because we do have a lot of fish and I like the plants. Plants are happy. So we're just going to throw that bad boy in there. Go ahead, anywhere. Doesn't matter. We're going to come back to that in a second. Great. Somewhere we can see those bad boys later as well. Plants are sitting nice and pretty. I wish I could tell you the name of them. It's someone with the oh, Omnia or something, um, but it looks like Hydrilla. It's really, really hardy. I want to take it out for you so you guys can have a nice look at it, but it's a really, really hardy plant. One of my favorites to use. Definitely don't die very easily at all and keep a really, really vibrant, happy green. I'm going to show you those in a second. I'm not going to go into detail about how to put this filter together because it's very self-explanatory. It's literally just one item and you just have to put it together. So go ahead. That's literally the whole thing. Water comes in. Water comes out. And then water comes out. All the pieces are inside. All, everything is inside, just like that. And we're going to set this up for you. It's going to take That's a very stay. short amount of time. The blue is on the bottom, and the black is on the top, just like any other filter, right? Yes. Blue is on the bottom, black is on the top. And on the very bottom are small balls. Yes. Eco balls. Perfect. And those are on the very bottom. As long as you remember how it came out, putting it back in will be very easy. So, we already did the, the we already did the bottom. Now we're just going to do the top. Boom, shakalaka. This literally takes two minutes, if that. Even if you can't read the packaging, which is very, very self-explanatory. Boom. Now he's putting in that black stuff on top, nice and flat, Adam. Yep. Correct. All right. Now all you got to do is slap that bad boy on. How easy is that, Adam? That was easy. <laughs> really easy. That so, easy. it's really nice with this thing is you can keep reusing those pads. All you got to do is open it up just like you saw, Adam, and rinse it out with the hose. So, you got the hose right there. Yep. You just take that bad boy out, throw it on the grass, and rinse it off, okay? When okay. it gets too dirty or your pond's not looking clear like this, this is how your pond should look at all times. Clear like that, all right? You see that? Our pump is that on the bottom of the pond, the green line that goes to the top, and everything else comes out of the bottom. And that's exactly what we're gonna to do today. Good, boom. Now you're plugging it into the top. Correct. Correct. Right. Nice and tight. It is tight. All right, so now all we gotta do, you could leave it right where it is and plug it right. It's gonna come out of the bottom, hardcore. Correct. Now, all you gotta do is plug it in. Already, already bubbling. Already bubbling. Now we're gonna want that up and down, straight up. Because Correct. if it's like that, it's not gonna do too well. So we're just definitely gonna want that right side up. Look at that. That is actually holding its pressure very nicely. Look how, look at it, it's holding its pressure so nicely. Hold that bad boy up for a second. This pump is, this uh, filter is actually really nice. Go ahead. Wow. I, it did not lose an ounce of pressure, did it? No. That is amazing. So this is the first time I've used this pond filter, guys. This brand is definitely something I'm going to use in the future. Wow, I checked it out. Obviously, I made sure it would work for what we're doing, but that is extremely impressive. I've never used a filter that kept all of that pressure. Look at the 
pressure. Amazing. You could put a whole nother hose attachment and hide this entire thing all together. You don't have to have this filter pump sitting on top of just like that. You could do a million different get a, things. Get a rock. Yeah, right. you could put, put a rock. Right. You could put that whole filter pump in the pond. And down. You could do all sorts of things. Like that. Yeah, you could just do like that. Boom, a heavy rock on top of it, another pot. There's a million different things you could do, but now you guys have an idea of what it looks like and what it should look like and what you can do with these materials at home. Yeah, look. Oh, very nice. And it'll get somewhere to hide. Yeah, and they'll be happy to hide. Hello. All right, great. So our plants are nice and acclimated as well. We have our dechlorinator in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and shove those bad boys into our gravel. And now these types of plants, they're going to collect all the gunk and everything that comes out of the fish. And they're just going to be eating everything that pretty much falls to the bottom. So we're not too worried about them. They're all in their little bundles. Check them out. Let me see. So this is the plant I was talking to you guys about. It looks beautiful. Perfect. And what you could even do is have it hang over. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just shove them in there. They need to be underwater to survive. And that's that. And that's just going to be one more way to filter your fish. Your water. For your fish. <laughs> filter fish. And that'll be that. They'll be super happy in there. It'll just be one more way to oxygenate this whole area. And they'll be super happy with that. And they'll be super happy with that little bit of greenery. And that'll be awesome. Obviously cichlids will tear that up if it's in the water, but there's no way for them to get to it now. That will eventually sink as it's doing right now. Great. Some wood. This is all looking great, dude. It does. It's all looking great. All right, great. And that's that, guys. Once again, I, I don't know if I told you before, but the way this filter is set up, you can actually connect that second bit of hose to the bottom and you can make a whole waterfall system. You can do whatever you'd like to do. We're just putting this together. These guys using this stuff for bait. Now all these bad boys are bait. So what we're gonna do now, Adam, is this is fish ready. It has the oxygen flowing. It has the plants. It has plenty of places for them to hide. And uh, all, we gonna, all we need to do is put this little pump a little bit higher to make sure that they don't swim into it. Actually, you know what? You don't even need to do that. It'll obviously help you. You just lift that bad boy up and you have some fish in it. Yeah. <laughs> These cichlids are super hardy. Or guys, I would definitely tell them to acclimate this whole system with the fish. But these fish, I guarantee you, not a single one of them will die in this water transfer. So go ahead. Put and a little that. of this water in here first. Yep. And that's going to be all the bacteria we need. Boom. Just like that. That, I guarantee you, will be just enough that this entire system will be perfect. As you can see, the plants are already eating all of that gunk, super happy. Plants will be happy, fish will be happy, everyone will be happy. Oh, oh. Just like that. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. perfect, perfect. Very nice, very nice. This is gonna be so cool be able to finally see them you know what I mean yeah they'll know how many baits you have <laughs> I know instead of trying to count uh-huh in the dark and this is it and oh, Adam look at, look at this look at this real deal adventures hello happy baby. that's it enjoy your brand new pond boom <laughs> appreciate you how long did it take us to set this up maybe an hour not even including the trip to Lowe's guys yeah. amazing so like I said before, none of these fish will die. You didn't have to acclimate them because they are these strong cichlids that can literally survive in just about anything. And how do you, how do you like your nice little new pond, dude? I'm loving it. Time to fill it up. <laughs> More Appreciate base. you, dude. Appreciate you. We're going to catch some giant peacocks with Adam. Everything in between. Snook tarpon. This man will put you on from land, which makes it a lot more fun. Adam, I appreciate you, love you, appreciate buddy. Appreciate it, brother. See you on the next episode. And now you guys at home know how I would do it, how I would put it together with a little bit of a Lowe's trip, a little couple Amazon plants, and a trip to the pet store. Get yourself some fish, some goldfish, maybe something a little bit more aggressive. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned, copy Waterlands, the best of the best, and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Catch them all.